Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to discuss inserts for table lighters. These little round mechanisms, they are a self contained lighter you fuel them on the bottom generally they are flint sparked they can be either petrol which will have a wick fueled or they can be butane which will then have a needle or a valve here instead of a wick also a petrol lighter will have cotton sometimes sawdust sometimes it is uh, rayon instead of cotton I don't know that I can really tell the difference or if anybody can but anyway if it's a material that looks like it needs to be soaked that's under there then it will take fluid if it was a needle or a valve, then it would need butane. I got a call today from a gentleman who had previously, I believe he had left a message on my phone before and he had also left a comment on the website. Very thankful that he called back. Enabled me to make this video but also enable me to answer his question which I did not intend to neglect. It appears that all of these inserts are just about an inch and a half or shade under. Maybe a little bit of variance, and we'll see that here in a minute when we put the inserts into the base that I do have. Haven't done a video for this lighter yet, except for the one little short. usually lights way better than that <laughs> but you can see these lighters are intended to just fit into the circular base this particular insert was marked United it came with information that talked about the United lighter company I believe I can't remember now did that video so long ago it also has um, raised humps here on the outside on both sides one here and one here that sort of act as springs that keep the lighter in the base while this insert measures about the same as the others they fit a little bit looser in there and if you turned it upside down it would just fall out The Evans appears to fit a little bit tighter, but that may just be because there is more of it covering the surface. I don't know. It's definitely got some play in there too. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to replace one insert with another, is how it's going to fit in the lighter. In this uh, 
um, this was marked United Lighter and I believe All American I don't know if the All American was the display portion but obviously you know it all stays together as a unit you could <laughs> use this without worrying about it being sloppy or falling off and dinging something or rolling across the floor or whatever the case may be but you could always also use uh, oh some uh, thin maybe like sandwich bag to form a shim or some kind of plastic maybe or rubber I don't know maybe somebody has a better idea than me you could leave that down in the comments but they do appear to be roughly the same size it does appear that most of them would fit inside the same hole anyway this particular mechanism I believe I have seen this on Wedgwood lighters and it's the same mechanism that was in a an Evans pineapple that I sold in the last year or so it was not the correct insert for that lighter but it did work in it but I don't see any striations here on the Evans insert and it was already robbed of its flint screw when I found it in there a while ago the phone call I received today ended up being that his lighter was butane so he's going to need to replace the butane insert with a petrol insert in that case you wanna you're gonna run into the same kind of problems that you do with any other lighter um, the flint tube is likely to be obstructed by the old flint like this one is this one appears to be striking really well it's missing the fulcrum cap I might be able to get in there and find something that will work on that but once you get down to what your replacement is for your butane or whatever insert that is no longer going to work then you're just going to use the same um, principles that you would for this you can tell here by looking at the fitment up top it's a Ronson type automatic lighter so you would go about uh, clearing the flint tube or re-wicking it the same way that you would Ronson lighters in the case of these or as I said an Evans here and I don't remember who this actual patent belonged to but it seems to have been licensed to a lot of different manufacturers but I have seen that um, this exact mechanism on other lighters and it's not sparking near as well now as it was when I made that video a month or so ago anyway I am going to get with back with the gentleman I don't know if he watches the channel or not but hopefully I can get these working to a degree that they will give him something to work with as he is beginning this collection of acrylic based table lighters And just ideally, this would seem to be the perfect replacement because it's going to fit tightly into any of those. Where these that don't have a. You're going to really be struggling. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe you can sort of 
hold it down in there with some sort of a play-doh or something I wouldn't use chewing gum or anything like that it's just not a lot of room there but that doesn't reach all the way to the bottom so while the bases may be the same diameter here there are definitely some that are deeper or that reach deeper than others just a few things to keep in mind here if you collect table lighters and would like for them to work and of course I've got videos for fixing all these mechanisms and if I don't have that video up yet request it I'll get it made and we'll get you all back to striking up whatever it is that you intended to light in the first place until next time